as a libertarian thinking about the tangible material world and um, and property rights and the idea of force like force I mean the way libertarians put our rules that I described in property terms earlier is we call it the non-aggression principle which is the idea that the use of force against other people is permissible only in response to force so initiated force is wrong we call that aggression right so that's sort of how we we think about that and in a strict set of libertarian analysis based upon that strictly speaking it it is just if you use force to punish someone right i mean obviously it's better to use means institutions locks measures to prevent crime in the first place um so that would be the the most optimal way to deal with with crime is to prevent it but once it's happened justice has to come into play we have to decide what are we entitled to do now this is a suboptimal response because you can never undo the crime at this point you can only hope to achieve some measure of justice maybe some restitution so theoretically you could punish people which means you could theoretically even execute people that have done a severe enough crime but i do believe that those types of systems are very undesirable and unlikely in a free society for a number of reasons number one having a punitive or retrib retributive based system just doesn't do very much because it's after the fact and what does it do it doesn't really rehabilitate the criminal it doesn't really give you restitution back it might give you some measure of retribution like it might give you some some pleasure at knowing that the guy that hurt you is being hurt himself but that's also costly because it takes a big costly legal system and enforcement system to do this especially because there's a possibility of mistake and if you end up punishing someone who was uh, who was innocent then now you're liable for that and so you have to pay a lot of money just like war is expensive punishing people is also expensive so i think that in a free society we would tend to gravitate towards a restitution based system not because it violates the rights of an actual criminal to be punished i do think that it doesn't violate their rights so i think it's just for the victim of a of a violent crime to use to use proportionate force to harm the guy and then you could use that that threat or that right to use force to bargain with him for some kind of monetary payment so you could use it to extract restitution so there's all kinds of ways that the use of force is is useful or the right to use force is useful you can use it for self-defense and you can use it for re for retribution and then you can use that just to get vengeance or you can use that to to bargain for restitution but i do think that in any system it's hard to imagine a working institutionalized penal system the only reason we have one now is because the state does it and the state doesn't really care much about morals right or the cost either because they they, they pass the cost on to the victims which doubly victimizes them like the victim is victimized by the crime and now they're taxed to pay for the jail for the guy so they don't they're, they don't really get any good out of that in most cases so i think that we would tend to have a restitution based system